All right, the, go, the jackrabbit's going to be this size. And uh, it's a small one, but uh, this is the only anatomy drawing I could find of uh, the skeleton of a uh, jackrabbit. And so I'm going to have to try to figure out how to do this. They're two feet long, the fully grown ones, from the tail to the nose. And that's what I went by as far as scale goes. So we'll see how this works. All right. Be right back. I'm going to make an armature and uh, start adding clay to it. Time to play with some clay. All right, I got uh, different parts of the uh, rabbit ready to go. The armature, I'm going to put that together now. I have a video, instructional video I put together on how to make armatures for all animals. Well, dog and, and a horse and a human. And all you got to do is follow the instructions I give on the horse and dog, you can make an armature for any animal that you, you can get a good uh, skeletal structure of. And uh, I would suggest taking a look at the uh, review of my instructional videos in the uh, video link down below this video. All right, I'm going to get back to work on the uh, armature and I'll be right back when I get it all put together. This is the uh, armature so far. I think that rear leg is bent way too much so I gotta unbend it but uh, that's uh, the uh, position of the uh, rabbit now I just got to figure out how I'm going to support him on the uh, sculpture let me put him up to the sculpture and I'll show you okay this is what the position he's going to be in he's going to be jumping just between the legs of of the horse or even like here just outside the legs of the horse but I've got to figure out how I'm going to mount him and support the armature at the same time this wire is too thin to hold the clay up so I got to figure out what I'm going to do as far as that's concerned also I've got to figure out how they're going to be able to cast this or make a mold of this rabbit separate from the uh, cowboy, and I've got to figure out how to do that. So I'll be right back. All right, this is what I'm thinking. I've put a screw here so that that's a foundry. They can take this piece of wood off, and the rabbit will be connected to the uh, base by an armature, which I'm going to have to make, and uh, it's going to support it. I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do that. So I'll be right back. All right, this is the uh, support I've got. I've drilled a hole in the side of this piece of wood that it's sitting on that I can take off and put back on. And uh, all I'm doing now is solidifying the uh, joints that I put on. That holds up the uh, rabbit, and uh, we'll see how this works out. I'm going to have to take it off here and put it on a turntable by itself and uh, work on it from there. All right, be right back. All right, this uh, is set up. I'm going to work on this tomorrow. I don't have time today. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to put that leg right there and uh, put a piece of clay to hold it in place. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Front leg's bent a little too far. So I'm going to figure this out tomorrow. 
All right, I've got this uh, mounted on my model making vice that I got on an amateur, uh, Amazon. This uh, is something they use when they make uh, model ships or model airplanes or cars or whatever to hold things while they work on them. And it works really well for this. And uh, I'm going to have to work out the positioning of the leg and the armature support. And uh, I'll do that tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Good night, everybody. This has been a long day, but uh, short on video. I'm sorry. It just took me forever to get this all worked out. All right. Good night. Have a great evening. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.